All right, with uh, voter apathy being the major source of concern, TVC News correspondent Femi Akonde joins me now from an IDP camp to find out if the internally displaced persons will participate in Saturday's polls. Femi, it's good to have you join us right now. What are you finding out from where you are? Well, precisely, I'm at the Malkohi camp for the internally displaced persons here in Yola, capital of Adama State in northeast Nigeria. Well, the people in this IDP camp will be will cast their votes tomorrow. There's already a designated voting area here made, uh, provided by the Independent National Electoral Commission. I have been speaking with most of the persons uh, in this camp. They are looking forward to uh, tomorrow where they will cast their vote. And of course, there are, there are issues that these people will be voting for. You'll know that this is not their original home. They just uh, stay in makeshift camps like uh, most of these ones around here, not the best that they can get. But of course, uh, they have to make do with this kind of um, uh, ramshackle shafts for now, uh, where they just um, lay their heads because most of their uh, communities are still unsafe for them to return to now since the Boko Haram insurgency started in northeast Nigeria. In this Malkohi camp, we gather that there are more than 1,600 internally displaced persons. And of course, of this um, number, uh, there are more women. And you know, women are among the group of vulnerable women, the elderly, and children. So there are a large number of women, the elderly, and children in this internally displaced camp. And this camp Femi. is run by the National Emergency Management Agency. It is one of the three internally displaced camps in Yola, Adamoa State, where voting will take place tomorrow. Oh, all right, Femi. Let's talk to one of the uh, IDPs here. Okay, Mike, I'm listening. Yes, Femi, uh, we understand there was an attack in Buni Yadi and, and the, the polling units are being moved to Damaturu. Draw our attention to the issue of security where you are right now in the camp where you are. What are you seeing? Yes, security is a very important thing at the camp here. Driving to this place, uh, there's a military checkpoint just uh, some few meters to the gate of the internally displaced camp. And at the gate of the IDP camp, again, we met another group of military men, armed military men at the camp that interrogated us, asking us uh, why we are here. They wanted to know our mission. And after we told them that we are from TVC News, uh, they allowed us in. Even inside the camp here, among the persons for the internally displaced, uh, there are committees here, and there is a committee in charge of security. And we also spoke with the person in charge of security here. They gather intelligence among um, the uh, persons living, the persons here, living and here, and they share those intelligence, uh, intelligence reports with the security uh, operators guarding this place. And the security operators guard, uh, act on this intelligence report, and uh, this helps them forestall any um, breakdown of law and other All right, breach in security around this camp. But okay. Mike, I would like to speak with... Uh, a member of the, member time, of time. of the internally displaced Okay, camp. go ahead, go ahead. Let me give you the time. Go ahead, speak with them. Oh, okay, thank you very much, sir. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good afternoon. Okay, um, as a member of this camp, tomorrow you'll be going out to cast your ballot. What are the issues? What are the things you, that, that you're voting for? Fine, good. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, I go to, we are going to cast our vote. The purpose of cast, casting our vote is to get our right because we leave our hometowns, we leave our places. So we want to change the government. All right, all right, all right. Okay, what you want is um, security, I believe, yes. so that you can return to your homes because these are just uh, temporary homes, temporary shelters for you. Yes, this is the temporary place. When government... All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry I'll come and interview you later on. Okay, well, Mike, um, these are some of the issues they are voting for. Security, they need to return to their ancestral homes. And this is uh, of topmost priority for the IDPs here in Malkohi. All right, Femi Akonde, thank you very much for letting us know what is going on in the camp there. With that